Well, getting ready for a big high school dance can cost Bay Area families hundreds of dollars as the dress, the shoes, the hair, the makeup, and jewelry. Yeah, so a local group is helping lift that burden. New at 11, ABC Action News reporter Julie Salamone with where young women are going to pick out the perfect dress for free. Jadeja Edwards skipped high school dances for years. Dress is too expensive, so when she finally made it to prom, she appreciated the gown she wore. If you ask any woman who has gone to prom if she remembers what her prom dress looked like, I guarantee you, some of them probably still have them. Edwards says she spent part of her high school years homeless. She worked, but she could not waste money on a dress. The hair and makeup are easy, but it's it's the dress that really does it. You know, everybody pays attention to your dress. Bell of the Ball Project, a nonprofit organization, provides homecoming and prom dresses to girls in need. Their mission? No girl should be denied the opportunity to attend a high school dance because of financial reasons. And I came here and... It was like overwhelming with dresses and to be honest like the dress really makes makes prom. On Saturday and then twice in October high school girls can visit the boutique on Holt Avenue in Clearwater to try on dresses and take one to wear at homecoming. They come in you can see they're a little meek a little shy and before they're the end of their shopping experience they're being applauded they're they're turning around and looking at themselves in the mirror. Thousands of dresses available, all sorted by size and color. They are free. Volunteers need your name and the high school you attend. Volunteers ask that you return the dress after the dance. This dress signifies a turning point in my life. Definitely. Edwards is now a college student. She says the experience gave her hope. It took away stress and allowed her to fit in. It made my life a whole lot easier, that's for sure. Um, it, it was like a saving grace, honestly. Reporting in Pinellas County, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.